When the great German composer Ludwig von Beethoven died in March of 1827, he had been working on a 10th symphony. It never was finished, leaving a nearly 200-year mystery about what might have been. Recently, a group of musicians set out to answer that question, enlisting the help of a sophisticated computer to create a symphony worthy of one of the most admired musicians in the history of human civilization. NBC's Molly Hunter has the story in our Sunday Spotlight. If this sounds like Beethoven to you, you're not entirely wrong. But it's not the real deal. It has um, little sparks of Beethoven, but it's not. I find the spirit of Beethoven's missing. The, the humanity of Beethoven is missing. American Melanie Torres is a violinist in the Beethoven Orchestra. She's been playing his work in all nine of his symphonies for decades. During his lifetime, Ludwig van Beethoven gave us masterpiece after masterpiece and these four notes which universally spelled doom. Before his death, Beethoven left behind seeds, motifs, bars of music, hints at a 10th symphony, one of classical music's greatest mysteries until now. A team led by AI scientist Ahmed Elgamal at Rutgers University and Austrian composer Walter Werwoza took on an impossible task. First, they had to teach the machine how to think like Beethoven. We imagine ourselves Beethoven living in uh, in 19th century, uh, sorry, 18th century. He would have listened to uh, Baroque music, uh, Haydn, Bach, and then Mozart. Then they inputted all of Beethoven's known work. Taking all his sonatas, all his uh, concertos, all, all his string quartet, all, all his um, symphonies, and uh, trained the AI to compose. With Ahmed's AI algorithms balanced with Walter's human touch, the machine spit out a Beethoven-like symphony. And there were moments where I was wondering, there were moments where I was crying. It was just beautiful. AI learned from Beethoven's work from his essence, from his being, and from his, all his feelings. Mm -hmm. And the AI is reading that. But the AI can pick that up, you think? That human, that really human emotion of despair? Yes, yes. absolutely. Two years of work, all building to a crescendo, a big concert reveal this month in Beethoven heartland. So we headed to Germany. And the reason, of course, the concert is happening here in Bonn. Beethoven was born here, and this city is all about one person. There is a plaque around every corner, his childhood home just down the street there, and here in the center of town, a massive monument to the man himself. When you guys were going into the project, how are you going to define success? Our success is to give the AI to the world to be more creative. Well, then you've done it. And the world also now has a 10th symphony, the kind of innovation Walter suspects even Beethoven might have supported. For Sunday Today, Molly Hunter, Bonn, Germany. I think Beethoven would be proud. Molly, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.